So we are looking at which problem? The second one, I think. Midterm CSE 340 Fall 2015 Midterm Exam 1. Uh, this is problem one. So this is an actual problem from an actual midterm. And assuming I don't die by tripping over these wires, we can go over this. So we have a series of regular expressions. We have letter is the letters lowercase m through p. We have capital letters, capital M through p, digit, five, six, seven, or eight. We have alpha, which is either a letter or a digit followed by zero or more digits followed by zero or more letters. Row is a digit or a letter followed by a letter or digit zero or more letters or digits, right? This is gonna start with either a lowercase letter or a digit and be followed by any number of uppercase letters or digits. V? Yes. V? Yes. Yeah, that's what I call the name? Yes, okay. I, I write these things and then I like completely forget. V is any number zero or more capital letters followed by a digit. Uh, omega is a digit followed by either a capital letter or a digit followed by any number zero or more lowercase letters. Cool, so the first part about problem one is uh, filling in the blanks of matching up what is, exists inside one regular expression. Uh, if this string is in the language defined by each of these regular expressions, alpha row. So you can do that, that should be a good self-check. But the question today is on not where is my mic, uh, where is my marker, but that is a good side question. Uh, anybody see a marker? We'll give it up for debt. No, it's a highlighter, that would be bad on here. <laughs> go to red. Okay. Actually, let's go blue. I think blue will pick up there. Okay, so the question is, if we call get token repeatedly on this input, so we specifically are given this input, and it is 5, 8, M, M, P, capital P, capital M, 5, M, Okay, so it says if we call get token repeatedly on this input until the end of input is reached, the sequence of token returned is the following. And it tells us specifically assume longest prefix matching is used and ties are broken in favor of tokens that appear first in first first in the list. Uh, okay, so we have one thing we want to do before we start. If we ever copy the input into somewhere else, we want to make sure and verify it's actually the same input. It would suck to solve this problem on a different string and put the wrong values in here. If you wonder why am I telling you this, it's because I've seen it. And it's really sad because they do it correct. Like I see the steps are all correct, it's on the wrong input though. <laughs> so you have to knock off some points for that. Uh, 5, 8, MMP, MP5, MP5, cool. Okay, so how do we start? Well, you first choose the first one and see which one matches and which one is a possible candidate. But how are we going to figure this out? Could I just wrap mm -hmm. up? Well, five is a digit, so that's the first one that comes down and matches up. Yeah, so I first got to start here, right? But I want to make my columns of my table, right? I want to think of, okay, what's, so what's the, what are my columns? What am I keeping track of? Match. Match? Uh, potential match and longest prefix match or longest match number. Do we have the right one? Do you want, well, I, I just do it in my head. Yes, uh, let me. Because that takes long, and that, those tests I'm sure. So let me rephrase your question. But let me tell you what happens. There's four things that appear here. The answer, I think, in this case is four of these alpha row, right. whatever. So it's worth 12 points in this case. I think it was 20 points in the other exam. So if you just put down four wrong symbols. 0 out of 20 or 0 out of 12. Oh, so wait, let me ask you guys, <laughs> just for clarification. I know it's... one correct out of 4, you'll get a fourth of the points right. But if on. you do this, I can see where you made a mistake. Because when you try to parse this, if you make a mistake here and mess up on your first token, that affects your next get token because it's going to change where you start from. I, I understand that. I guess I'm asking. I say I make a mistake on the first part, but then all the rest I match properly, even though they're technically wrong symbols. Would you not look at the, the proper matching and not get points or no? If you don't show me your work, okay. then no, I'm not looking at that. I'm not going to redo your work to see how you messed up and actually ended up getting the right answer because I can't see where you messed up. Fair enough. Right. Okay. 
depends on you. You can do it at the end. If you have time, if you just write it down the answer, write down the answer. If you can't, you know, show more work. Or write down the answer first and then go back and show your work later. Right? Testing and trying things. Cool. Okay, so we're going here. So we analyze this very first character, five. So which of these regular expressions matches? Do we have anything that matches? So before we start, right? So we have nothing that matches. We have all as the potential match. And we have nothing as the longest match. Okay. Right? So far. Cool. Now we go one step and look just at this five. So which, what matches five? Uh, digit. 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 And alpha. Alpha. And alpha. The potential. alpha. No, alpha matches it. Does right? alpha it match? match? Yeah, it matches, yeah. right? Because these would be zero or more, zero or more. Yeah. So alpha. Does row match? Yes. Row yeah. match. Yes, digit, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And that, so row. What about um, no. V? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's a potential, a digit, actually, yeah. right? Does it match? Cause, yeah, because you yeah, can you match a letter this two, goes epsilon, to zero. and then to zero. Yep, so that matches. So what, co what constitutes a match and a potential? Okay. The so match is, is this string five? Just this, or okay, the string we're looking at so far, is it in the language defined by this regular expression? Okay, so if it matches, if it matches, if it matches up exactly, then that's what's yes. match. Yeah, omega is a potential. That's what's and omega is omega. Does this match? It's a potential. Right. Mm -hmm. The string five is not in the language defined by mm -hmm. omega, but strings that start with five are in the language defined by mm -hmm. omega. Right. And so that's potential. So then the potential. Does digit have the potential to match? Well, yeah, no, digit it was a match, though. It's a match. Yeah. It wasn't a potential, it matched. Right, I'm saying, now we're going to potential, so we're going through all of these. Mm -hmm. Does letter have the potential to match? No. No, no capital letter. No. Does digit? Mm -hmm. I guess. Could it? If you added another, if you looked at the next character, could digit match? No, no, absolutely not. Because what's the length of the strings of digit? One. One. So what? You could always add it, it's not going to hurt it, right? Because later you'll check digit and you'll say clearly it doesn't match. But we know it can't possibly match mm -hmm. if we look at another character, because this is only strings of length one. Mm -hmm. Okay, alpha. Can alpha potentially match? Yeah. Yeah, so we have this digit, yeah. and depending no, on what the next the things are, it could still match, yeah. right? So we have alpha. What about row? Yeah. Yeah, so we match this digit, and we can have any number of digits or letters. Phi? Can phi have the potential to match? No. No, no. Phi just match. No, no because we can't add, if we add anything to this, this is saying the last thing is a digit, mm -hmm. right? So there's no strings that start with five and are of length two or more, mm -hmm. right? So not phi, and what about gamma? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So gammas. Sorry. W? Uh, omegas, right? Okay. And then what's the longest match we've seen so far? Uh, digit. Digit one. Digit one. Why digit of all these? First one to go. Exactly. It's the first one on the list. So I got one more question. For when we're done with the answer, do we have to put, can we put like the proper four symbols? Do we have to put the symbols plus with the longest? What does the question say? I got my So now we look at eight, right? So then we say, of the ones that last time potentially matched, alpha, rho, omega, which ones of those, so does alpha match 5, 8? Not match. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. It does match, because mm -hmm. afterwards it could be and 11. And digit, and digit, right? Mm -hmm. So alpha matches. Mm -hmm. What about rho? Yeah. Digit, yeah. digit, also matches. And what about omega? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Well, no, because it could be digit and then afterwards. No, it digit, does digit, and epsilon. It's digit, and digit, and that can go to zero. Oh, okay. I see. I, I, I thought there was digit and the parentheses. Okay, no, no it's digit dot. Yeah, th then that is a match. Then. Okay. I gotcha. Omega, and then we go to potential. So does alpha have the potential to match? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We can keep doing more digits yeah. and more letters. Right. So alpha could have the potential. Mm -hmm. What about rho? Yeah, because it could have potentially mm -hmm. more digits. Yeah. yeah, more digits or more capital letters. What about omega? Uh, no, because after that, after that, yeah, it can't. Well, hmm. 
Well, actually, yeah, because it could be a letter afterwards. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Digit, digit, and then any number of letters. I gotcha. Right. Omega. So now, what's the longest match we've seen so far? Two. Of what? Yeah. Alpha two. Alpha two. So now back to your question. What do you write? What specifically is the question asking you to write for the answer of this problem? Well, it's it's simply called we're talking respectfully mm -hmm. until the ending is reached. This is a return as the following. Yeah. It doesn't actually say for the number. Is the following exactly? It says. The, num the sequence of tokens returned is the following. Yeah, so I'll have to put the number. No. But for the record, I still wasn't sure what <laughs> I read it. Because <laughs> I saw a lot of people, so I was like, okay, maybe. It says the sequence of token returned is the following, right? Parentheses means yeah. you can eliminate that and just do that. This right. is the sequence of token returned. Okay. Fair enough. Cool. 5 a.m. Does it match an alpha? No. 5 8 m Yeah, no. it should. Oh, is this in the language defined by alpha? Oh, 5, 8, M. Yeah, these three right here. New. Yeah. Well, digit, digit, and then any number of letters, though. Well, that's, that's letters. capitalized letters. Oh, that's capital, okay. That's, yeah. No, in that case, no. No, it does not match. What about row? Mm, no. Digit, digit. No. No, because this is lowercase yeah. letter. What about omega? Yeah. Digit, no. digit. You read the letter, small letter. Oh, that's Omega. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking the second other one's Omega. I get those confused. Okay. We went through these ones. Digit, digit, letter. <laughs> so Omega. So Omega matches. Does Omega have the potential to match? Yeah. Do you have more, mm -hmm. more small letters? Yeah. Actually, we can also go through, we should go through all these. Does this have the potential to match Alpha? No. 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 What about uh, Rho? No. No, can't do that. Omega? Yeah, keep, keep on. Yeah. We, yeah, we can keep doing. Why do you keep skipping letters? five? It's good. This guy has already been eliminated, is that why? Why am I skipping one? Uh, five. Uh, yeah, so we've already. We only okay. go through the potentials oh, from okay. before. That's why we calculate the potentials, so we don't have to go through all you the. You can do it by just look at the potential and. Yep. That's short. Yep, so now my longest match is omega with like three, right? Mm -hmm. So do I stop? Is it omega three? No. no. That's a no, because I still have potential, right? So this yeah. is where you can mess up. You mess up and do Omega, your first one's right, but now well, you can actually cheat ahead and see letter star, you're gonna go all the way here, Yeah. right? And so if you mess up here, now when you call get token again, you're gonna get different things. Is it okay just to jump ahead? <laughs> yeah, so it'll it just be MMP. So I'm gonna keep going and it'll be MMP, and I'll get to this capital P, and I'll say, does 58MM lowercase b capital P, does that exist in the language described by uh, omega? No. no. Does it have the potential to match that? No. No. So we would finally get to the point all the way here, and then we'd say the longest match is omega of length 1, 2, 3, five. 4, 5. So instead of 58MM p. 5. Yep. So that's going to do this guy. Mm -hmm. Omega. Now I call get token, I'm going to start here. So, right, I'm starting here. I have no matches, all potential, longest match. So I'd say P. Is it a lowercase letter? No. Is it an uppercase letter? Yes. Is it a digit? Mm. P. Well, no. Is it, does it match alpha? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Does it match rho? No. No. Uh, does it match phi? Yes. Does it? No. Well, it's, it's got the letter, and it could be in But you need, you need a well, digit need? at the end. Oh, okay, that's what's on. So it's a potential, though. But yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got well, you. It doesn't match exactly. Omega. No. No. No, it has to start with a digit. Okay, then we go through potential. So letter, no. Capital letter, does that have the potential? No. No. Digit, no. Alpha. Yeah. Yeah, we have digits and letters that we can have there. Alpha. What about row? No. No. Let's see, capital letter, no. Uh, P? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, this has the potential to match. And omega? No. No. So the longest so far we've seen is a letter. here to M, and I'm going to say, does M match alpha? PM match alpha? 
Which one? P and oh, alpha. Mm, no. Oh wait. Yeah. Well, no, it because p because alpha is is letter. You only have one letter b and one m. Yeah. Huh? You only alpha have one b, epsilon m. So the first character is what? A letter. P. Yeah. P. Uh -huh. Followed by what? Epsilon. A digit. But what is the digit? Oh, and, oh, well, that's right. Yeah, so it could match. I guess. Oh no, no. Well, we don't know yet. But this could go to. Epsilon. So does this match m? So we already matched the p to this letter. Can this m match this digit? No. So this goes to epsilon. Mm -hmm. Right? So then we say, can this match that letter? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So alpha, alpha matches, and also has the potential to match, and phi, does phi match this, PM? No. No, but does it have the potential? Yeah. Yes. Phi. Then we look at PM5 and say, does it alpha match that, PM5? No. No, because we did letter, mm -hmm. this went to zero, this now goes to letter, mm -hmm. and there's no digit afterwards, right? So PM5 is not in there, and it has no potential to match. Phi is letter, letter, mm -hmm. followed by a digit. Mm -hmm. Did the recording stop? No. That's telling me I have a meeting in five minutes. So, we get here, we get to phi, and then we'd say phi is the only one that could potentially match, mm -hmm. and then we'd say it doesn't have the potential to match. Well, no, we've reached the end, right? Yeah. It has no potential, so we know that this is phi of 5. Right? And now we do it an mp5, and so we look at m, we say m is letter, lowercase letter of length 1, we look at p, and we would see that can this be lowercase letter? No. No. Can it start with lowercase letter? Can this start with lowercase letter? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So MP, though, can the next one be no. a no. lowercase p? No. No. What about phi? No. No. And what about omega? No. No. So we went through all of them, none, match MP, so then what should be returned? The M should be letter 1. Yep. We get to P5. Is that lowercase or capital P? Lowercase P. Gotcha. What was that? Lowercase P. So we look at the first one, we know it's a letter mm -hmm. out of all of these. Then we look at P5. P5 is P5 an alpha? No. No, it can't be. Is it a row? Yeah. P and then a digit? Yes, it's a row. Is it a gamma? No. Or sorry, a phi? No. Is it omega? No. No. So it's a row. Oh. Gotcha. So, a few questions on this. <laughs>